Hello friends, today we are going to talk about Myasthenia Gravis. Which of the following finding is usually associated with the diagnosis of Myasthenia Gravis? Is it visual disturbances including diplopia or ascending paralysis and loss of motor function, cogwheel rigidity and loss of coordination or progressive weakness that is worse at the day's end? So what is the correct answer? The correct answer is D. Progressive weakness that is worse at the day's end. <clears throat> Let's talk about the other options. Visual disturbances including diplopia is uh, associated with multiple sclerosis. Ascending paralysis, it is a very important uh, feature. It is It indicates gulen bear syndrome. Cogwheel rigidity and loss of coordination is associated with Parkinson's disease. And progressive weakness that is worse at the day's end, as, as I have already told, is associated with myasthenia gravis. Let's talk about a few more things about myasthenia gravis. Uh, basically, what is myasthenia gravis? It is an autoimmune disorder of neuromuscular transmission. Okay. What are its main clinical features? It, uh, main clinical features are weakness of the eye muscles drooping of one or both eyelids it is also known as ptosis blurred or double vision also known as diplopia progressive weakness that worsens during the day is one of the most important clinical feature of myasthenia gravis now let's talk about a few symptoms that are not expected in myasthenia gravis uh, one of the most important uh, symptom is impairment of memory is usually not found in Myasthenia gravis, urinary continence is also not found in, found in myasthenia gravis, numbness is also not found in myasthenia gravis and lack of sensation is also not found in myasthenia gravis. <coughs> Let's talk about a term called myasthenic crisis. Myasthenic crisis, it is a medical emergency which occurs when the muscles that control breathing weakens means the muscles that controls the breathing pattern if they uh, they get weak then uh, the patient would not be able to breathe properly and it may definitely cause respiratory failure so it needs immediate medical attention what is the common medical treatment we usually uh, give cholinesterase inhibitors what is the main drug is pyridostigmine okay always remember this term pyridostigmine Surgical treatment includes thymectomy, removal of thymus gland. All right. So before proceeding, uh, I would like to request you to please like and share this video and subscribe our YouTube channel. We have some homework for you. You have to answer this question. We have a question for you. If you are educating a patient about the pathophysiology of myasthenia gravis, while explaining the involvement of the thymus gland, the patient asks you, where the thymus gland is located then what should be your answer is it behind the thyroid gland or within the adrenal glands or behind the sternum in between the lungs or anterior to the hypothalamus what should be your answer for correct answer you can refer to the first link that has been given in the description of this video before leaving please subscribe our channel and share and like this video thank you so much